champion select? Then go for someone like Yorick, since you'll easily be able to keep your distance and trap him with your walls. Kale, since again, you can keep your distance and time your ultimate nicely with his because of the animation. Or Jace, if you know how to harass and keep away when he tries to engage. Jax and Team will work, because they'll be able to dodge auto attacks and therefore deny his stacking. And Aurelia can stun him for long enough to interrupt his combo as any other hard CC -er. Darius' passive is called Hemorrhage, and what it does is it actually makes his autos and abilities stack. At 5 Hemorrhage stacks, it's like you get ignited, and if he manages to stack him in one champion, he'll instantly apply Noxian Mites to any other champion he strikes. His Q makes him swing his axe and will heal him if he hits you with the outer part of it. This can easily be countered by actually walking towards him instead of away since it'll reduce the damage by 35%. His W is an auto attack reset that slows you adding a stack too. His E pulls everyone in and also slows for one second. His ultimate is his amazing dunk, dealing true damage, and this gets increased by 100% if the enemy has full hemorrhage stacks. If Darius manages to execute the enemy, he'll get 20 more seconds to execute another. After level 16, it'll simply refresh the cooldown on executes. Don't bother flashing from it since you'll still get hit. His combo's simple, auto attack for one stack, E to grab you, auto attack for two stacks, W auto attack reset for three stacks, Q for 4 stacks, and the final attack for 5 stacks, finally ulting you. Don't fight him at all pre-6 if he brings Ignite, it's very likely that you'll die unless you somehow dodge every single thing he has to hit you. Darius really relies on getting fed in the early game and ending the game before late game when the AD carry can easily kite and kill him before he retaliates. His level power spikes are 1, 3, 6, and 16. Punish him between levels 9 and 15 when he's at his weakest point. Don't fight him if he just got Black Lever or Dead Man's Plate. Wait until you have your own items and he's in between building these. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, don't let him hit you with the outer part of his Q, in this case walk towards him if need be, don't fight him in the early levels if you're 1v1, and don't try to flash his ultimate. Ultimately, just have fun doing it.